Hello my loves, welcome to your uh, monthly love reading for March 2020. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's go ahead and get started here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? What love messages, what clarity, guidance, advice do we have for my Scorpios? March 2020, please, Spirit. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Scorpios, please, Spirit, for March 2020? What love messages, what clarity and guidance, what messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what love messages, what clarity and guidance do we have for my Scorpios, March 2020? All right, my loves, so if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this reading. I do choose multiple subscribers every month, guys, for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, you name it, it's happening, okay? So uh, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. Um, guys, in the description box below, you will find the link to book me for a personal reading, okay? I just saw the Ten of Swords pop out. I'm not going to take it, but um, there may be, we may be dealing with an ending possibly, guys. Let's see what we, what we have here. Um, so uh, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, the information is below. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, the information is below. If you would like to check out my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, that link is below. If you would like to check out my tarot collection, that link is below. I do have over 100 decks. My timeless collective readings are below. So just check out that, um, that description box because there's a lot of fun stuff there, okay? So guys, let's see what we have here as the overall energy for March 2020 for my Scorpios. So we have the hanged man, Piscean energy. So um, guys, we may be needing to take a break. Something may stall out possibly. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Scorpios? Um, Scorpio, you may be, uh, you may have been waiting uh, patiently for something that, you know, you maybe you weren't happy about this waiting period. You know, you were waiting for something to happen here. We're going to pull some Oracle now. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance can we bring to my Scorpios March 2020, please, Spirit? So let's see. Oh, way too many cards popped out here. Like a lot of cards. All right, let's see. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Scorpios? Okay, we have all tied up and that hanged man. Yeah, you guys are feeling stuck, like tied up and woman holding a coin. So guys, one, I'm, what I'm feeling here is one person is very responsible, stable, grounded, you know, ready to go, but you may be finding yourself stuck, you know, all tied up in a connection that's very stagnant, that's very stagnant, that's not going anywhere, or that maybe you don't see a future for, okay? Let's see what we have here. We have claim your independence, cat spirit. Yeah, you're wanting to break free of something here, Scorpio. You are really wanting to break free here. Under the deck, we have skunk spirit. Know your worth. Yeah, because I feel here, Scorpio, that you're coming in, you know, very grounded, very stable, very responsible, you know, but you're you're all caught up in a situation that you just, you're not seeing um, an ending here. You're not seeing this moving forward, and you know you're worth more than that. You know, you know your time, your energy is worth more than that. So here we have make the effort and love yourself first. Make the effort and love yourself first. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then here we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. <coughs> and new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right. So, guys, what I'm feeling here... 
We have one person that I feel has put a lot of effort into showing love into this connection, but now they may be feeling like they have to, you know, pull back a little bit and have a little self-respect. Um, because what I'm seeing here on this side, we have one person here that's actually focusing on new love. So I'm feeling like there's an imbalance in this connection. One person is fully in and in love, and then we have another person here that may have a new love interest either in the workplace or just working on a new love. So let's see what we have here. We've got the Three of Wands, the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. We've got the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles, energy here strongly um, could be a Capricorn Virgo also so what I'm seeing here guys is that someone is yearning for something else see this could represent third party they're in a relationship possibly they're in a connection but they're yearning for something and with new love with the chariot underneath someone here is feeling that this new love or this new person is a victorious decision and they're wanting to move towards it okay whereas we have the other person here who feels that you know they, they've invested a lot of love time and energy they're totally stable totally committed this part, one person here is ready for marriage and with love yourself first here we have the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles here the, the woman holding the coin this person knows that they are stable that they are strong that they are committed that they are grounded this person here We've got one person here that's straight up ready for marriage and to start a life. And then we have another person here who's looking at someone else and ready to shoot towards a third party. So this could be a third party energy here, guys. Okay. So here we have the hermit, Virgo energy. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the two of pentacles. We have the ten of wands, the death card, scorpionic energy, and we have the fool. So this person here that's ready for marriage is going to withdraw. They're holding back a little bit. With love yourself first, they're holding back a little bit. With the devil card here, what I'm feeling is this person has put in a lot of love, a lot of time, a lot of energy. They were loyal. Um, you know, they turned to God a lot. They forgave a lot. But with the devil card here, this person is starting to get annoyed now. They're starting to get tired, I'm feeling. Like, I've put in a lot of work here, and there may be jealousy. There may be... Um, you know, just a sense of being very upset because they're not getting, they're putting out a lot of effort and, you know, they're expected to love another person and they're expected to fulfill their own needs because they're not getting something from the other person. And I feel like someone here is about to take off, take that risk and just move on. Like someone is just done. You know, they've put in a lot of work. This was a stable, committed person, but now they're withdrawing because they're pissed with that devil card. I'm getting a sense of anger. I'm getting a sense of I've had enough and I just want to go. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, this could be because we have the other person here. So Scorpio, you take yourself as it resonates. You could be the one who wants to move on to new love, or you could be the one that's been putting a lot of energy into this. Okay. But we have, you know, someone here putting a lot of work into yearning for something new, and it's becoming overwhelming now with that 10 of wands. Um, it may be coming so clear that this person wants to move on to somebody else that this person here is like, you know what, I can't even there's nothing else for me to give to you to try to make this work. You're uh, you obviously have your eyes somewhere else. So I got to go, you know, now with new love. Yeah. You see this person, we've got the two of pentacles and the two horses here. There's a decision that has to be made. Okay. I'm seeing very strong third party here, guys, but there's a decision that has to be made. And someone here needs to, with a death card end something and move towards what it is that they want. Okay. They, they, we need to stop stringing somebody along. So with the hanged man, what I'm getting here is this one person has been putting a lot of time and energy into something and they've been patiently waiting to receive that love back um, or that respect back, that commitment, that that sense of a traditional commitment with this person, whereas this person is patiently waiting because they're yearning for, for something else and they're just kind of holding on to stagnancy and not moving forward in this connection because there's something holding them back. back. There may be another person in the picture here with new love. So for the oracle here, we've got family, friends, and guys and conflict. So what I'm getting here 
family, friends, and guides, and conflict. So I feel that one person, the person that is feeling really hurt and pissed off here is going to start fights. They're going to start arguments. This person is very upset. They may be turning to family, friends, um, with guides here, tarot readings possibly, or just praying or manifesting. Um, but they may be getting family and friends involved in like, you know, what is going on here that they're going to cause a lot of, um, arguments because this person is really hurt. They've had enough. Okay. Now on this side, we have new supportive connections and we have great gratitude. So there is a new person in the picture here, Scorpio. So you take this as it resonates. Either you're on this side where you have someone new that has caught your attention or you're on this side where you're the one being hurt because you're, you know, you're very much in this connection and you're not getting the same type of love and respect back. So the challenge here, the six of swords, this is becoming toxic. This is becoming literally toxic and a break is needed here. You guys need, are going to need to go your own separate ways. What's crossing the situation is temperance. We have Sagittarian energy here. This healing angel needs is going to come in. I feel like separate the situation so that there can be healing and balance in your lives once again. Because things are about to get very with the devil there. Conflict. I told you this was anger. This is like a, a, a strong sense of anger here. Now the outcome here. Yeah. We've got the three of swords and the seven of conflict cups. Um, there's definitely a third party here. Someone is confused. They have other options and it's just gonna, it's gonna put a set. Yeah. You know, one person is ready to go, ready to get married this moment. And the other person is still yearning for something different. They're with, they're yearning for new love. Okay. There's someone new in the picture here. All right, guys. Well, be sure to like comment, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.